packaging, we've had that discussion, haven't we? In terms of packaging, we previously, in a very rising market, used IKEA, B&Q, just, you know, nice, nice stuff, but very average. As the economy changes, our packaging, i.e. our posing kit, is going to change, and we're going to move back up to beautiful, beautiful, exclusive items. Any other comments around packaging for you guys? In a bungalow, what kind of packaging are you going to do? <coughs> Vanilla. Vanilla being what? Not really thought about that stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what today's for. Yeah. So tell me now, or what would anyone else suggest for a downsizing market in a bungalow? Uh, in, in terms of any actual furnishings or yeah. um, neutral colours. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, not too old-fashioned, but still still quite modern. Yes. Um, just so, um, as we've heard, they're obviously uh, a bit more modern than, than previously thought. Yes. Um, but I think bright and airy. generation don't like glass. So they fall into it. Yeah, okay. right. yeah. um, so, you know, no, you know, it's all very well having modern furniture, but we've got to make sure it doesn't look as like it's going to break yeah. when he yeah. sits yeah. down rather yeah. suddenly because yes. his knees Solid. don't work properly. Uh, yes. um, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> going back to understanding that the likelihood is the decision maker is going to be a woman, and going back to the whole idea of retail, which large superstore might you suggest would be a downsizer's dream? And I realised I've hit middle age because I phoned up my best mate and went, oh, I'm going to spend the afternoon, John Lewis. I'm really looking forward to it. So why don't you go to John Lewis, photograph all of the ways they pose everything up and basically purchase some of the stuff. Is that not a solid field downsizer's dream? And I did realise I'd stepped into a new generation <laughs> when I went to JL two, two weeks ago.